Well, good afternoon. We've got the F-350 up on jack stands this afternoon. It's time to rotate the tires. And I thought it'd be a great time to dive into these auto locking hubs a little bit deeper because I've had a lot of questions since my hub video asking how they work. So I'm gonna go over how the hubs work today. And I'm gonna show you with the tires off what's happening underneath with the axles and the drive shaft and all that. So if that kind of thing interests you, stick around. We're gonna get right to it. Okay, so we've got all the wheels and tires off. We're gonna start the truck. I'm gonna put it in drive, in two wheel drive. I'll show you the back of the transfer case. Then we're gonna to switch to four wheel drive. And we're gonna show you what happens up front. Okay, so this is two wheel drive. Let off the brake. And you can see the drive shaft turn. So that was our rear drive shaft. Go up here. There's our front drive shaft. And we're in drive. Take our foot off the brake. And as you can see, the drive shaft does not move. Now, we're going to engage four high. We have shift in progress. I'm slowly going to let off the brake. And you'll see the front drive shaft turns. Okay. Now, because we have auto hubs, my guess is that our hub probably did not lock yet. Oh, that one is locked. That one is locked, okay? So right here is your vacuum solenoid that controls those hubs. If we were to unplug this, okay, now we're still in four wheel drive, but we've disconnected the electricity to our front hubs. So that means that solenoid is no longer gonna allow vacuum and as you can see here, I'm turning the wheel, but my axle shaft is not spinning. I'm still in four wheel drive. So when we talk about whether we should drive with our hubs locked or not, this is the difference, only in reverse. So it has to spin a little bit. There you can see it's unlocked. It just had to spin just part of a revolution to unlock itself. So now, if we take that a step further, let's say we wanted to be in four-wheel drive low, but we really only wanted two-wheel drive. Well, that is how we would achieve that. We would disconnect the electricity or the vacuum to those front hubs while they were in auto, and we could put the truck in two-wheel drive in low range. Now, we'll probably get an error code when we do this, but we're going to go to neutral and we're going to go to four low, shift in progress, advance track off, it says we're in four wheel low. Okay, so we did not get an error code. So as long as you're already in four wheel drive, you can break the power to that solenoid. So we're going to go to drive. I just heard it engage. I'll let off the brake a little bit. Okay, back to neutral, park. So we're definitely engaged in four wheel low. But, let me grab a rag here so I don't get anti-seize all over my hands again. All right, so here's our axle shaft. If we spin our wheel, we're still unlocked. We're in two wheel drive low range now. The difference is my hubs are unlocked, so my wheels are not locked to my axles, but you will notice when I put it in gear and let my foot off the brake that that front axle shaft or front drive shaft is still going to turn because the transfer case is still locked in four wheel drive, even though the hubs are unlocked. 
but we're in drive. I'm off the brake. So as you can see, the drive shaft's still spinning, but my front hubs are not locked. So that is allowing the axles to spin freely inside of the axle tube without actually putting power to the front wheels. So in closing, the basic operation is when you put your truck in four wheel drive under normal circumstances in four high, you're doing two things. You're shifting your transfer case into four wheel drive high range and you're also turning on that electronic solenoid under the hood that controls vacuum that goes to those hubs. If you shift to four low, you're doing the same thing. You're shifting to four wheel drive low range, but you're still putting power to that electronic solenoid under the hood. Well, I know there are an awful lot of you out there that have a great understanding of how four wheel drive works and how the hubs work. But there are a lot of people that are new to four wheel drives and this video was made for them. I've been getting a lot of questions since my hub video asking how those hubs work, what exactly is happening under the truck. So I've been hinting around for a while on some of my previous videos about a hack coming up. I pretty much explained what I'm going to do today. If you're interested in seeing how to use an upfitter switch to achieve two wheel drive low range if your truck has these auto hubs, Make sure you subscribe and keep checking back on the channel. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when that video comes out. It's coming out soon. As for today, we're going to wrap it up. I hope you found the information helpful. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.